Magandang araw po sa lahat ng ating mga estudyante sa Manage Life Academy. Isa na naman pong linggo na para sa atin upang pag-aralan ang mga bagay patungkol po sa goals. No? Pagpatuloy po natin yung ating nasimulan last week patungkol po sa SMART Goals. So ngayon po ay pag-aaralan natin itong part 2 at sa lahat po ng may kaarawan sa araw na ito o sa buwan na ito, happy birthday po sa inyong lahat. Napatuloy po tayo mga kaibigan at mga kabatid at mga tagasubaybay dito po sa ating lesson. No? Punta na tayo dun sa screen natin sa walang pagtatagal na sa ganun atin na pong matalakay itong mga bagay na ito. Go sharing part number o part 2. Nasa part 2 na po tayo ng smart goals natin. Last time pinag-usapan natin yung iba't ibang bahagi, no? yung pati yung mga action steps na ating dapat gawin. Pinag-usapan din natin mga kapatid yung uh, ano ba talaga ang kahulugan ng uh, smart uh, yung tinatawag nating smart goals no ano ba talaga ang ibig sabihin yung specific measurable attainable realistic saka time bounded no mayroong time frame na kasama ngayon pag-uusapan natin itong continuation with, which is effective goal setting paano ba gumawa ng isang epektibong uh, goal setting <clears throat> Ibig sabihin, hindi lang basta goal setting ang gagawin natin mga kaibigan at mga kapatid Dapat epektibo talaga siya Ibig sabihin, yun bang isang, isang plano na hindi lang hanggang sa isip lang Yung planong magkakaroon talaga ng realization Yung matutupad talaga siya Kasi anin mo yung meron kang ang goal pero hindi naman pala matutupad no, Meron kang isinulat, ang gaganda, ang gaganda na pagkasulat Pero hindi naman pala natin ginagawa. So, tingnan natin itong mga bagay na ito. Paano ba gumawa ng effective goal setting? No, tuloy tayo. Next. So, put it in writing. Yun po ang unang bagay. Goals committed to paper are more effective than goals held only in your mind. The process of writing your goals or goals down requires you to think them through or thoroughly and to articulate them clearly it also provides a record of goal when it was made and when you want to achieve it and putting it into writing it is a commitment to complete it if you are writing it down you are halfway or halfway to complete it so post your goals where you can see them make them real no? Because it's more fun, really, it's more fun and enticing to achieve a goal. But you have to put these goals somewhere where you can read them, make them real, and a real part of everyday life. Don't just jot them down and tuck them away in a drawer or between the pages of the book. Make it, um, make it known to the world and make it known to you day by day. Uh, ibig sabihin, you have to put it somewhere when, where you can read it regularly. Isulat niyo po siya. Tulad po na ginagawa ko, na isinulat ko po siya o nilagay ko po siya sa isang uh, laminated, sa isang, uh, yung picture ko, nilaminate ko po siya at nilagay ko mismo sa aking table so that I can see them day by day. So write down your goals in a positive way. No? In a positive way. Forget about negative. Then, express a firm commitment to achieve them. And include statement why to achievement of this goal or set goals is important to you. So, always ask why. Bakit ba mahalaga ito? Because if your why is strong enough, the how is not so difficult. mag sa tinatawag naming affirmation, we always ask question why. Say, for example, we didn't just simply declare, I am rich, which say, why I am rich. Nilagyan namin ng why, no? So use positive language and make it always positive because it's more fun and enticing to achieve a goal that's worded positively than the same goal worded in the negative fashion. So whenever possible, use positive language to, to, pray, uh, to phrase your goals and actions or action steps. Say for example, to fit into my size 8 jeans by December like that, so and so. 
uh, it's more appealing goal to lose we weight so that I don't feel so fat. <laughs> diba? Pangit kasi yung um, mabawasan yung kuan timbang ko ng ganito ganyan para hindi ako pipe, hindi ako uh, hindi ko pakiramdam ma na mataba ako. So, you put it in the negative form. Put it in the positive way. So, when you write down your goals right now, write it down in the positive sense. Now, let's continue. Don't be afraid to ask other like-minded people to help you with your goals or just become a part of your support system. In short, enlist the help of other people. Don't be intimidated to ask help, maybe from me or from someone else. So always ask for someone to help you because no one lives or no one is an island. We need the help of each other. Kung halimbawa, hihingin mo ang tulong ng iba, alam mo, you will find it interesting because most of the successful people will really willing to help you to achieve your goals in life. But those people na silang amismo, hirap silang maatin yung goals nila sa buhay, of course, hindi ka nila tutulungan. Hirap nga sila sa sarili nila. Tutulungan ka pa nila. But look, for the people who are already successful in life and they are much more willing to help you achieve your goals in life. Another, don't go solo. Help people. Even when you know they can't help you back. Even if you know that these people are really, it seems unimportant to you, but help people. Help that you will be helped as well. Plant and you will reap the harvest. So always consider this. Why work toward your goals solo when you can have an entire team on your side? You don't have to do it alone. You need someone to be with you in order to accomplish all of these goals. So kung kailangan mo ng matematician, di mag-hire ka ng mga kaibigan ng matematician before. Kung kailangan mo ng magagaling na mga coach, din go ahead. You can tap me, you can ask my help, and I will help, help you, no? I am much willing to help you. To the best of my ability, I will help you. Don't worry. I will help you. Just ask my help and I will help you. Another, talk to someone who's done what you have done or what you want to do. If you are in the field of coaching, then ask someone who already in that field. If you are in the pastry or in bakery, ask someone who already successful in that field. So if you can ask or if you can talk or if you can talk with someone who's already attained the goal or dream you aspire to, find out what it's already like when the goal is completed and the dream comes true. How did it feel? Was it everything they thought it would be? Ask them how they did it. Was it worth all the hard work? Would they do it, it all over again? Why or why not learn from their mistakes? So ask from the help of someone else. If you are in network marketing, why not ask the help of those people who are already successful in that field? Don't simply rely on your own, but ask the help of someone. Now, take your ballpen or pencil and be ready to write down your answer. This is my next question. Do you know anyone who has already accomplished or achieved some of the same goals and dreams you aspire to? If so, identify them. <coughs> Write down the names that you think might help you in this journey. Say, for example, for me, I am in the field of teaching and in the ministry. So I write down the names of the pastors and the ministers that I know can really help me in my dreams. So post this video and write your answer. Next, identify the personal benefits of completing your goals. Wasn't it in it for you? There has to be some kind of payback for completing your goals or you will give up, so, so, uh, give up as soon as the going gets tough. 
identify the tangible and intangible benefits you will, you will realize when you complete your goals. This could be a simple feelings of self-satisfaction, less stress, or status in the community. There are no right or wrong answers, only the achievement of ta some tangible or intangible rewards that has meaning for you personally. So in reviewing of some of the dreams you've identified, what do you think your primary, pri how do you say it? Primary motivations for completing your goals will be what makes you think what provides your greatest motivation. So the question is what motivates you? Write it down right now. No. It's a payback, it's a return. Yung personal benefits na sinasabi po natin. Ano po ba yun? Then write it down right now. Post this video and write your answer. Now, incorporate rewards into your goal plan. So, working toward your goals is hard work. Yes, it's really hard work. Tulad ng langgam na yan, no? It's really hard work. To keep you, your motivation high, build in little rewards at critical points in your plan. So, self-motivation is the key to success. And there's nothing like positive reinforcement to keep self-motivation high. The rewards need not be elaborate. Tickets to see a movie, lunch with a friend, or buying a new book you've wanted may be more than adequate. But recognizing your progress and accomplishment is vital. Say for example, if you want to treat yourself with a pizza hut or something, uh, eating somewhere, you know, as a part of a reward, it's not, it's not the reward itself. It's the, it's the progress. It's recognizing that you are progressing in life. No, say for example, um, if you are in the field of marketing, no, put say for example, kumikita ka na mayo malaki laki na, so put a reward for yourself that is not really as expensive as it is. Say for example, a spa. No, mag spa ko ngayon. This is uh, my celebration for uh, my step one accomplishment. So do it no little by little. Now. I want you to identify 20 different mini rewards you can choose from to build into your goal plans. This should be a mini rewards that are meaningful and motivational to you. So what will be these rewards? No, if you will accomplish something, say for example, a new iPad. For example, kung yun yung gusto mong motivation. A spa. O di kaya a parasailing. No. O di kaya <coughs> a hilly hiking. O, yung parasailing, yung sasakay ka ng parachute, tapos sihilain ng speedboat. O, yun yung parasailing, no? O, di kaya heli hiking, sakay ka ng helicopter, akyat ka doon sa bundok. E, di mas ma madali yun, di ba? <laughs> nag hike ka, pero, <coughs> excuse me, eroplano o helicopter ang sasakyan mo. Now, write down 20 different mini rewards you can choose from. So, this should be many rewards that are meaningful and motivational for you. Post this video and write down the 20 rewards that you think is beneficial for you. Next, prioritize, focus on one or two dreams or goals at a time. Wag damihan, isa-isa lang. Baka maubos yung panahon mo dyan, no? So, you obviously cannot do everything all at once, for sure. So identify the high, the medium, and the low. No, if you can identify them, some things need to be uh, to take precedence over others. Similarly, you cannot focus on all of your dreams and all of your goals at the same time. So in order to give each one of the time and attention it deserves, you will need to determine which dreams are the most important to you, and should therefore be your top priority. So always make sure which one is your top priority. Focus on just one or two dreams at a time. Don't focus on too much. So this might be the diagram that I think would help you. Uh, this diagram is also the same as what presented by uh, Stephen Covey in his book, Seven Habits of Effective People. So if you will look at it, there's two sides. Let me show you my cursor. This is what they called urgent and not urgent. 
important and not important. Yung important tapos urgent, do it now. No? Pero yung important siya, pero hindi naman siya urgent, not urgent, then plan it. No? Ipaplano mo yun. Kung hindi naman kailangan gawin ito agad-agad, planuhin. Ngayon, kung meron kang hindi naman importante, pero kailangan gawin, urgent, o di i-delegate mo, ibigay mo sa iba. No? Kung may mga ibang trabaho na hindi naman ganun ka-importante, pero kailangan tapusin. Alimbawa, pagsasagot ng emails, mga ganun na, kailangan mo, pwede mo i-delegate to someone, go ahead, delegate it to someone. Pero merong hindi importante, hindi naman urgent, hindi importante, hindi urgent, then drop it. Huwag mo nang sayangan ng oras yan. Usik, usik, rakas panahon, ana. No? Sayang-sayang ka lang ng oras mo dyan. So, for example, paglalike sa Facebook, ng, kailangan ilike ko yung kaibigan ko. Bakit? Kailangan ba talaga yun? Hindi naman siguro ganyan ka-importante yung ilike mo yung post niya. Di ba? Example lang yan, di ba? Naubos yung panahon natin, kakalike hanggang sa napansin natin, naubos na yung oras natin. So, focus on just one or two dreams uh, or goals at a time, no? Now, which one or two dreams that you have written about in the previous exercises are most important to you at this point in your life? I already told you that you have to focus just one or two dreams or goals at a time. Starting with something relative, <clears throat> relatively easy to achieve or something very, very important to you that you can get really enthusiastic about to begin. If there are things that you think will, uh, will fuel you, to move forward, then go for that goal. So don't bite off too much at once. Remember, it is an elephant. Baka elephant yung goal mo. Tapos, ang laki ng kagat mo, mabubulunan ka. And don't spread yourself to too thin. Yung bit size na talaga, yung kaya mong kagatin ba? Start small and build on your success. Increase your confidence in your ability to accomplish bigger, more complex goals. Make sure you have to write it down today and identify that goal. Now post this video and write your answer. Next. Keep it simple. But before going to keep it simple, I want you also to understand this. Do your research. So whatever you want to achieve, find as much as possible about it. Every data that you can get, get it before committing to a goal. Make sure you know what is involved. Get all the information you need. Make info, um, then what will achieving this goal require? What will you need to learn new skills? Get a degree, invest money. How much time will it take? So make sure you will also spend time to research on the goal you have written on. I told you already that you have to write down at least one or two of the goals that you need. To, to write on and do your research about it. Now, keep it simple. If there's a simple and legal way to achieve your goals, don't complicate matters unnecessarily. There are two kinds of people in this world. The people who are complexifiers and people who are simplifiers. The people who are complexifiers, kahit napakasimpleng bagay, ginagawang complex, ginagawang mahirap, kahit ang dali-dali lang sanang isolve ng problema. Oh, nakakita na ba kayo ng mga taong ganun? na kahit gaano kasimple ng problema, talaga ginagawa mo. Alam mo, ang hirap talaga timplahin ng kaping ito. Alam mo, ganito, ganyan. Ay, nako. Complexifiers yan. Mga taong simplifiers, ito yung mga tao na kahit gaano kahirap, ginagawang madali. So, I want to tell you, do not be complexifiers. Be plexifiers. Again, talk with people who have achieved the goals you're striving for. Look for the simplest and most straightforward means of achieving that goal. Learn from other people's mistakes when you can. Keep it simple. Don't complicate things. Huwag mong gawin komplikado ang mga bagay-bagay. Madaliin natin. Ako. Ikaw lang din mahihirapan yan. Okay. Now, continue tayo dito sa identify obstacles to your goals in advance. You have to know the obstacles. Because obstacles to your goals can come in one or more or several forms. So we identify some of these potential <clears throat> potential obstacles in earlier exercises. When you identify the negative comments you've heard from a people around you, the negative people in your life, or the negative self-talk, and took action to reprogram those negative influences in your life. Remember this. These negative comments are not really them. It's just their comments. 
it has it should have no effect on you sabi nga ni Rhonda Bryan sa kanyang libro the magic the magic ba yun o the power the, the magic yeah ada uh, power yeah the magic na <laughs> nalilito ako doon eh, kasi meron siyang the secret the magic ah. sinabi niya when people are giving their negatives to you consider them that you they are sitting on the negative horses say for example these people who are criticizing you they are riding on a uh, critic horse no sumakay sila sa critic horse ngayon kung maging critical ka rin tulad niya kinontra mo siya para ka na ring sumakay sa kabayo ng critic horse pareho na kayong critical no sabi sa iyo alam mo yung babae niyan ganito yan oh daos gagadi ka naman Eh, ganyan din naman siya eh. Eh, siya nga eh. Tatlo yung boyfriend niya. Ako, isa lang. O, diba? <laughs> Naging critical. <laughs> Naging critical ka rin. And remember this, if you don't want to engage in that battle, get off from the horse. Umalis ka mula sa horse na yan. Kasi hindi yan tutulong sa'yo. There are always obstacles in your life. There are critical things in your life. But did you know what's the greatest problem that we have? The greatest obstacle we have is not the outside forces, but it's the inner. Yung nasa loob natin, yun yung problema. So other obstacles may be ex external or internal. Yung external ex obstacles might in include shortage of time or shortage of money or someone who won't cooperate with what you're trying to achieve. External yan siya. Some of your external obstacles, some dis or obstacles come disguised as friends. And family who are trying to help you avoid being disappointed, no? Minsan, mga kaibigan mo, sabi na, wag na lang yan, anak. O mga, kapat, mga kaibigan yan, magsabi, wag na lang, friend, kasi baka madiscourage ka lang. Or, sasabi niya, just don't want to see you. Uh, sabi nila, ayaw namin kasi makita ka na uh, sobrang taas ng pangarap mo, tapos lalagpak ka lang. Mga ganun ba, no? Obstacles din yun, no? It is outside. In reality, though, they may be jealous, insecure, or fearful if you improve your own life. You will no longer need them. During the time that you're already improving, they might say, hindi na, hindi na nila tayo kailangan, o hindi niya na ako kailangan. So it might be. But if you really want for people to succeed in life, let them go. Now, if you are the one who is always depending on someone, This is my challenge. Let go. Huwag kang, huwag kang uh, maniwala o huwag kang masyadong patatalo dito sa outside forces. Though you tend to think of external obstacles first, it is often the internal obstacles that are the most difficult to battle. Obstacles called indifference, indecision, doubt, worry, Overcaution, pessimism, negativism, complaining, ano pa man yan, ikaw nang bahalang mag-isip. Ito po ang mas mahirap na kalabanin kaysa external. Yung internal po ang problema, yung utak natin, yung pag-iisip natin. Another internal obstacle is our tendency as humans to compare ourselves unfavorably with others. Look at them! Look how he accomplished Tapos sabihin mo, mas maganda pa yata yung nangyari sa kanila. You are complaining and you are comparing yourself with other people. Remember this, you will not succeed in life. That is also another inner or internal obstacles. You have these inner struggles within you. Now, let's take a look at this. So, which of these internal obstacles do you recognize as having power in your own life? Meron ka bang mga internal, internal ha, obstacles do you recognize as having power in your life? Binanggit ko na kanina, indifference, indecision, doubt, worry, overcaution, pessimism, negativism, complaining, whatever it is, write it down now. Post this video and write your answer. Next, probably, ito yung mga tao o ito yung mga bagay na nag-stop sa'yo. I give you an example. If you look at your answers with the previous question, at hirap ka talagang makahanap, ito probably friends, relatives, pessimist, society, guilt, 
fear, o oh, yun yung mga humaharang sa iyo, no? Mga taong humaharang o mga bagay na humaharang sa iyo. Now, the next question, how will you combat these internal obstacles in your own life? Paano ba ito labanan? Yun ang tanong. How will you combat? Post this video and write your answer. Ngayon, merong iba't iba how pamamaraan how to combat. But from this iqmetrics.com, this is also a good uh, uh, website if you want. No? Ang ganda ng website na ito, iqmetrics. Binanggit niya dito, how to overcome obstacles. Meron siya dito ang tinatawag na mga tips. Uh, tips no? So, isa sa mga tips niya is learn to ask effective question. If you want to, obstruct the, to overcome obstacles, you have to learn to ask effective question. Dapat ang tanong is effective. No? Then learn to, dito tayo una, consistently accept circumstances. Or learn to consistently acknowledge circumstances. Not just to accept, but to acknowledge circumstances. Or learn to consistently experiment in new direction. Find new directions. Baka yung direction na yan is uh, helpful para sa'yo. Kasi madalas kasi palaging yung dinadaanan natin, yun na lang palagi din yung pinupuntahan natin. Now dito, sinabi niya pa, learn to think critically and creatively. No? Mag-isip, gamitin yung utak. Then another tips is assessing obs uh, ob objectives. Or assessing obstacles. Ano yung mga obstacles na yan? What must I do now? Anong kay, pwede kong gawin ngayon? What caused this? Bakit ba ito nangyari? What went wrong? Ito din yung maganda na pwede maging tanong. That's how to overcome obstacles. This is just a tips. So my question for you a while ago is, what will you do to combat these eternal or internal obstacles? Remember this, there are always obstacles along the way. Because what most people think is this kind of way, no, success and failure, ganun lang daw, success, failure, success, failure. No, what successful people know, <coughs> the road to success is this. There mga failures, may mga detour, may fail, fail, fail along the way, curb lines, hindi naman talaga super highway. So this is what successful people know. And, but this is what most people are thinking. Ito yung mga bagay na inisip na na. Dretso lang ang daan. Super highway. No, hindi yan. May bako-bako at likulikong daan po papunta sa success. Now, another point that you have to understand is know your limit. Your time is limited. Your funds are limited. Your energy level is limited. All your resources have some kind of limit to them. So before you set your goals, identify your resources in all in all these areas objectively look back at the time assessment you did in the earlier exercise and determine how much time you really have available to devote to the attainment of new goals say for example you're already 60 years old take a look with your goals baka hindi mo matapos in your lifetime no while still maintaining your uh, other life responsibilities you have to make sure that you have this enough time because it doesn't mean that even though you have these goals, hindi ibig sabihin na kalimutan mo lang yung other responsibilities if you are a parent. No? Do you have to, to forget about your family and just continue with your goals? You have to consider also that you have another life responsibilities with your families. No? Recognize your limits and then set your goals within those limits to keep them achievable. So make sure you can achieve your goals. So remember that your limits may be very different from someone else's limits. So make sure your limits. Set goals that will stretch you, but not so far. Huwag yung sobrang stretch na baka kung sa last ko pa mabigtas na ba? Maputol na dahil sa sobrang uh, kuan. Alam yung last ko? Yung, uh, yung ginagamit natin, no? rubber bands. No? Nas oh, na naging stretchable siya, pero wag mong ipilit. No? Not so far. Why? Kasi baka mangyari, mabigtas yan, maputol. 
The best goals require you to stretch and grow and become a little bit better person for accomplishment or accomplish a little more than you have to date. At the same time, goals must be attainable, not so far out of reach that failure is assured. No, pag sinabi mong sobrang laki naman, ah, sigurado ka talagang ma-fail, ay wag yan. Dapat attainable siya. Dapat alam mo yung goal na yan. No? Uh, at the same time, goals must be attainable. No? Binanggit na natin kanina, no? At the same time, goal must be attainable. Now, set your goals just little outside your comfort zone. If you have your comfort zone, meron kang bilog, di ba? May, may meron kang comfort zone. Siguro, gumuhit ka dyan ng circle, tapos lagyan mo ng dot sa gitna. Ikaw yan, yung dot na yan. Yung circle na yan, yan yung comfort zone mo. Minsan, pag lumabas ka dyan sa circle na yan, out of your comfort zone yan. So, set your goals little outside of your comfort zone. Mga 1 inch siguro or 2 inch outside na. And it will make you to stretch and achieve that goal. As you set new goals continually up, the ante just beat a continue to challenge yourself. Only you can determine just how important your dreams are to you and just how much you are willing to stretch to get them. So, make sure you are stretching yourself. Make sure you are putting yourself to the limits. Eh, hindi naman na, alam mo yung limit mo eh. So, kung halimbawa, hanggang 10 ka lang, huwag kang pumunta sa 11. Punta ka ng 9, no? 9. Then, kung halimbawa, medyo sanay ka na sa 9, ang new new limit mo is nasa 15, o di, punta ka ng 14. No? Just closer, mga kapatid. No, identify factors within your control. Huwag kang umasa na uh, huwag mong, huwag mong, huwag kang, tawag ito, nawala tuloy ako. You have to identify, I have to speak it in English. You have to identify factors within your control. There are things that are out of your control. And you cannot do anything about it. Say for example, the increase of your salary. You cannot do anything about it because it's your boss. The changes in policy. It's not yours. It's your boss. So whenever possible, create goals that are within your control. For example, having an article accepted. Take note, the word being used here is accepted in the national magazine is beyond your control. Accepting your article is beyond your control. But what is within your control? So focus on the things you can control. What is within your control? Within your control is to send out five articles this month to National Magazine. That is within your control. Say for example, increase my salary. It is out of your control. What is within your control? Do the best that I can in the field that I am assigned to. That is within your control. Or finish my contract or finish my, uh, my, my quota and exceed to my quota if possible this day or this week. In that way, probably you can have an increase of your income. No? Don't uh, always identify the factors within your control. Don't, don't over or exaggerate on asking changes from someone else. Change starts from you. Another so, remember that even if impossible dreams contain seeds of goals, you can set for yourself that are well within your goal. No, uh, remember last time, maybe I, I don't know if you can still remember, that I said or I mentioned that there are goals that sometimes very difficult, but you can do it little by little. Say, for example, your dream is to become the president of the Philippines. Hindi mag-start ka sa pagiging purok chairman. Doon ka mag No? Start to to contribute to your community, your little community, probably it will happen to you in the long run. Who knows? Diba? Mayor Duterte is a mayor for 20 years and automatically win for landslide, no? Bigil lang maging presidente ng bansa with 6 million edge from his opponent. Tingnan nyo yan. From mayor to president, hindi dumaan maging senador. No? Hindi naging vice president, automatically naging presidente. So, ganun kabilis, mga kapatid. Ganun po kabilis ang nangyari. So, titignan niyo po, kahit imposible siya para sa iyo, but take the little steps that are necessary to achieve that goals. No? Yung within your control lang muna. Another, take a tangible test, test. So, when you achieve your goal, will you be able to see it? Holding it in your hands, how will you know it's real? How will you know you achieve it? Make it tangible. Kailangan mahawakan mo, kailangan makikita mo. No? You can see it, you can hold it in your hands. 
Yun bang, alibawa, uh, gusto mong pumayat, no? gusto mong mag-lose weight, kaya mo bang compute ito, measurable ba siya? Yes! Pakikita mo. No? Makikita mong pumapayat ka na, lumuluwang na yung pantalon mo, ganun siya kasimple, tangible siya. Pero yung goal mo na hindi nakikita, double check mo yung goal na yan kasi baka hindi yan kaya. Another, take ownership of your goals. It's your dream. It's not someone else's dream. You set the goals, take full ownership of and responsibility for your goals. Sit out to achieve them because you believe in them and this is what you want in your life. Set your goals. It's your own. Take full ownership on it. When a goal no longer serves its purpose or your purpose, your purpose it's time to change that goal. Take ownership of that goal. Don't make others' goals become your goal. It's your goal, not other people's goal. Another, when you have this goal already, next step is break it down. Take action. Goals requires action. Every goal is comprised of specific action steps that will lead to the achievement of that goal. Some goals require a few action steps and others require many. In some cases, a goal can have so many action steps that you, you should set smaller goals within a goal. So take note, if it is too big like an elephant, then chunk it, uh, put it into chunk, a bit size, yung kaya mo lang kagatin, saka mo kainin yung ilipanti, huwag mong kainin ng buo ang ilipanti. Walang taong pwedeng makakain ng ilipanti. <coughs> another, another step that you have to consider is schedule regular reviews and assessment. It could be weekly, it could be monthly, it could be within the accomplishment of the goal. So regular or schedule regular reviews or assessment to measure how you're progressing toward your goals. Determine whether you meet, exceeded, or feel short of your goals. If you meet your goals, are you getting measurably closer to achieving your dreams? You should be. Set new goals and identify new action steps to continue drawing you even closer. At kung kinapos ka naman, Tintingnan mo, ano bang mali dito? O baaring yung initial goal mo ba ay napakataas lang? O maaaring hindi mo nakita yung ibang mga obstacles? O naresulba mo na ba yung mga obstacles na yun? Meron ka bang plan B? Create new goals and action steps as needed. Mark them on your calendar. Schedule another follow-up. Or review date to check your progress again. <clears throat> Yan. If you feel short, tingnan mo kung bakit anong problema. Oh, baka mahulog ka, kala mo may pera, yun pala, mali yung kinatatayuan mo. Create new goals. <clears throat> Continue checking and rechecking your progress toward your goals regularly. Track your progress, tingnan mo. Umakit ka ba o bumababa? So when you achieve one goal after you finish, celebrate. No? Vitality shoes in not only the ability to persist, but the ability to start over. If you think that you are failing, then start all over again. Bakit? Tapos na ba ang mundo? Hindi pa naman, ha? Umpisa muli. <coughs> Kung nakita mong failure, failure din, umpisa na naman. Ganun lang. Huwag, gan, ga, wala, huwag masyadong magseryoso sa buhay. Maaga kang mamamatay niyan. So, so now, let's continue with the next topic, making a dream into reality. Gawin nating reality itong dream natin. So look back at the dreams you detailed in earlier exercises and select one that is particularly important to you. Ideally, you should start with a dream you can reasonably hope to realize in one year or less. Wag yung 10 years. Focus on one year or less. Seeing results quickly will encourage you to keep going and setting goals to make you bigger or your bigger dreams into reality too. So write out your dream here. Right now, pause and write those uh, dreams, yung detailed dreams. Next, 
What is this dream important to you? Or why is this dream important to you? Bakit mahalaga ito? Write enough reason to convince you that this dream is very important to you. Post this video and write down enough reason to convince you that this dream is important. <clears throat> Another, visualize yourself living this dream. Identify the pros and cons of realizing this dream. Post and write your answer. Post this video. Can you tweak any of these cons or negatives to make this dream more attractive? Can you modify it in any way to be more ideally suited to you? Nakita niyo yung mga cons, mga negative, di ba? Ngayon, isinulat nyo siguro yung mga negative. Kaya mo ba itong i-modify? Kaya mo ba itong ayusin pa? Now, post this video and write your answer. Now, how bad do you want to see this dream become reality in your life? Are you badly desperate? To attain this or not, post this video and write your answer. On a scale of 1 to 10, how hard are you willing to work to achieve this dream? One being just forget about it. I guess I don't really want it if I have to work for it. And 10 being I'll absolutely whatever it takes to achieve this. I'll do whatever it takes. So write down 1 to 10. ten. On every aspect or on the dreams that you have written on. 1 to 10. Another. How can you realize this dream? Identify the goals that when accomplished will lead you to the realiz realization of your dreams. So you have to write down the goals for that dream. Because goals are the written plan to achieve your dreams. You may wish to refer to the earlier exercises you completed relating to this dream or the goals brainstorm uh, or the goals brainstorming exercise. Put each of these goals in writing. So let's start now. Tingnan natin ha. Ganito yung pagkagawa. Goals to help me bring closer to this dream. Goal number one. Sulat mo. <coughs> Tapos action steps. 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E. Kung gusto mo magdagdag pa hanggang 1Z, ah, oh, ikaw na bahala. But write down your goal number one. Post this video and write down your answer. Goal number two. Action steps mo naman. 2A, 2B. Isulat mo yung uh, anong action steps na pwede mong gawin sa goals na yan. Kung kailangan mo magsulat hanggang letter Z or letter Y or letter X, go ahead. Action or goal number three, action steps. 3A, ganun lang po pagsulat mo. I only give you three here. But if you can put 10 action steps or 10 goals, then write down your 10 goals. No? So what action steps will you need to complete to achieve each goal? List all steps you can think of, large and small, under each goal. So write down each action steps. <clears throat> Tingnan mo whether can, it could be completed next month, next week, tomorrow, or now, or someday, whatever. Another question. Can any of these goals action steps be completed simultaneously or must they be completed in a particular sequence? Kasi ang iba na gawain ay sunod-sunod, no? May ibang gawain na sunod-sunod. Liba, tulad ng paggawa ko ng video. Hindi ako pwedeng dumiritso sa pagawa ng video hanggat hindi nakahanda ang mga pictures. So, dapat i-transfer ko muna mga pictures. Tapos, yung mga video clips. Another, ihanda ko rin yung mga backgrounds bago ako gagawa. So, it is what we call uh, particular in a sequence. Pero may siguro may mga iba na simultaneous di Kaya mo gawin tulad ng tawag ito, simultaneous. Uh, kung may apat ka na kamay, walang problema. Pero kung isa lang yung kamay mo, huwag kang umasa. <laughs> Excuse me. Another. Do you have the skills, talents, and resources or knowledge to complete the goals identified? If not, be sure that developing the skills, finding the resources, or obtaining that knowledge are included 
in your action steps, siguraduhin na kasama ito sa action steps mo. Or maybe you can ask someone to help you on those things that you don't have skills and talents to complete them. So how will you personally benefit from accomplishing these goals? Pause this video and write your answer. Paano ka ba makakabinipisyo? Next. What strengths do you possess that will contribute to your ability to achieve these goals and realize this dream? Strengths. Ano yung mga... Kasi mayroon tayong strengths and weaknesses, di ba? So, identify the strengths that you have. Pause this video and write your answer. Another. What are the weaknesses? Mayroon ka bang mga weaknesses? What weaknesses will you need to compensate or compensate for to achieve these goals. Examine your weaknesses. Tingnan mo ano yung mga problema na pwede mong tingnan, na pwede mong ayusin sa ganun, uh, ma masuportahan yung weakness na yan. So, post this video and write your answer. Another, who can help you achieve these goals? And how? Hands up if you need a little help. Huwag magbayabang. Itaas ang kamay at sabihin, ako, kailangan ko ng tulong. Ngayon, sino ang makakatulong sa iyo? Write down names. Magsulat ka ng mga pangalan at paano sila makatulong sa iyo. Post this video and write your answer. <coughs> Excuse me. Identify any known or potential obstacles, internal or external, that could interfere with your achieving these goals. Kung may mga bagay na makapipigil sa iyo upang ma-achieve itong goals na ito, whether it is internal or external, then write it down here. Post this video and write your answer. Binanggit ko kanina yung iba't ibang obstacles, di po ba? Pero dito, sa iqmetrics.com, ang ganda na sinabi niya, ito yung sinasabi niya mga types of obstacles. Mayroon tinatawag na personal obstacles. Siguro tatawagin natin itong uh, inner, internal obstacles, no? Yung meron kang feeling na unworthy, yung iba't ibang kinds of feeling na yan, no? Or meron tayong tinatawag na environmental obstacles. Ito yung example, unfortunate circumstances or unfortunate events or uh, conditions that you can't control or out of your control na mga circumstances, what we call it environmental or maybe we call it external another external is social yung mga tao na social obstacles na mga tao that being incompetent or people sabotaging you or people not cooperating with you ang tawag niyan is external yan but did you know also that the obstacles is most likely or pinakamahirap din talaga na I, I, labanan yung sarili natin yung per, uh, yung personal philosophy natin that sabotage us ourselves yung yung obstacles na ito na nagsasabotahi mismo sa atin yung philosophy na tayo mismo ang sa, nagsasabotahi sa sarili natin yun ang pinakamasaklap kaya nga po dito sa Manage Life meron kami tinatawag na coaching program one on one tawag namin Manage Life uh, technology which one on one we help every individual eliminate the old self-limiting beliefs that sabotage their own success so how will you deal with them identify possible solution now so that the tours on your journey don't totally throw off course sooner or later you will encounter obstacles there might be interruptions in life. There might be detours in life. No, wag kang dumaan dito kasi we are still <coughs> uh, doing some repairs, road repairs. So detour mo na, no? no. But remember that these detours are is are only temporary. <coughs> Excuse me, mga kaibigan. Detours are just temporary. You have to continue with your life. So what will be your reward for achieving its goal? Identify also your rewards. Schedule interim rewards for each goal accomplished. Don't make yourself wait until they're all completed for reinforcement. Once in a while, no, bawat success, go ahead. 
No, go ahead with your word. Another, will there be any negative consequences, either natural or self-imposed? If you do not reach these goals, elaborate or look at it, no? May mga self-imposed ba na hindi mo naabot yung goals mo? O may mga negative consequences? Look at it. <clears throat> Ang dami pa pala. How will you motivate yourself to take the action steps necessary when your enthusiasm wins? Kung halimbawa, nawalan ka na ng gana, paano mo imomotivate ang sarili mo? Post this video and write your answer. Another question, how will you hold yourself accountable for completing your, your goals? Paano mo ba gagawin sa sarili mong ikaw maging accountable? Yung hindi ba his fault? Her fault, their fault, not me. Yung mga ganun ba na ugali, no? Forget about it. Because the test of a matured person is taking full responsibility of the results he is getting. <clears throat> if you consider yourself as a responsible person, then take full responsibility of the result. That is the true test of a matured person. How will you achieve Or how will the achievement of these particular goals contribute to fulfilling your life purpose, your mission statement? Post this video and write your answer. Next, do these goals correspond to your values and priorities? As I identified in an earlier exercise, why or why not? Post and write your answer. Ano ba mga values and priorities mo? So this might be your values and priorities in life. To be at peace, to be right, to be appreciated, to be successful, to be original, to be competent, to be secure, to be happy, to be strong. Ang ganda ng kuha nito, ng matrix na ito. So whatever it is, no? power, influence, wealth, self-assert, meron po dito mga example that you can follow through and could be the values or the priorities uh, that that will this will serve as your example no to check on <coughs> and that's the end of our part two of our session so identify the first date you will review your progress toward these goals so don't forget to mark your calendar kailan ito nangyari tingnan niyo po ito no So the process of visualizing your dreams, setting goals, and identifying the action steps required to complete these goals. So if you want to accomplish things, trabahuin po natin itong mga, mga, <clears throat> mga estudyante ng Managed Life Academy. If you want to accomplish these goals, you have to do an extra effort. An additional Making a Dream Reality Worksheet is included in this workbook that you can check on. So you have to look at it, no? Kung maaari, ipotokopi nyo po or iprint nyo po, sagutan nyo po mga kaibigan. Make sure that you are completing your goals. So next week naman po, ibang panibagong lesson naman para sa ating week 8. Medyo mahaba-haba rin itong week 8 na ito ha. <laughs> Mahaba-habang aralin din ito. So be with me and continue to <clears throat> study life. No? I know you will become successful in life if you will just continue to dig deeper and continue in this journey don't forget to visit our website and check for yourself no yung ating uh, clients page diyan po kayo pumasok ilagay niyo po ang inyong uh, <coughs> ano tawag nito inyong email address at inyong password at kung halimbawa sinabi po ng page is this is a password protected area may nakasulat po na ganun tapos may na, mayroong isang box na nakasulat kulay pink black yata yan Sulat niyo po ang password na capital H E double L O asterisk no and the asterisk punctuation mark no hello ibig sabihin hello yun po so yun po yung ating website no visit our website maraming salamat po mga kaibigan hanggang sa muli po ito ang inyong lingkod OG Solitario uh, muling magpapaalala don't just survive but also thrive reach for manage life dahil dito sa manage life we are always committed to bring you to the top Maraming salamat po. Paalam hanggang sa muli.